Hi everyone, today we're back landscaping. I just got to the shop about 5 minutes ago guys and we have several employees already here. And we're getting ready to go on this Monday morning. We're actually going to be doing lawn care for the first 3-4 days. And then we're going to be doing a few big projects. Over last week guys we've had a lot of rain so although we are in the summer months now the grass has grown quite a lot here so this week we have to mow all of our properties which is over 100 here so we have three crews going out total today one with the enclosed trailer the big text and then we're going to be taking the uh, landscape truck here so let's Let's let the crew leave here in the Ford Super Duty and then we can get the Chevy 5500 landscape truck out and then uh, we'll uh, get on our way to go mow some yards. Our setup for today guys includes the Chevy 5500, the right stander and the John Deere 48 inch walk behind. Now one thing guys, I'm here fueling up and it looks like one of the employees forgot to fill them up the last time before they parked which is no problem. We'll just let that one fill up here really quick and we'll get this one filled up here now. Uh, this crew here is waiting for someone to go find some string trimmer line. It looks like we are short here, but they're taking it from one of the other truck cabs and they should be on their way here. But I think today, guys, we are going to be mowing 35 yards between all of them and they are, uh, some of the properties are an acre plus here, but oh, we're full. Let's grab that hose, grab that hose. Awesome. Let me double check with those employees and then we'll be on our way. All right, we're just leaving the shop right around 8 a.m. Now, one thing, guys, I did leave my house a little bit later today, and I wasn't able to grab a cup of coffee here, so we're just going to stop here at the local uh, coffee shop. It's actually on our way over to the yard. We'll just leave the truck running here. Just want to grab my phone here, grab my wallet. Let's go buy a cup of coffee here and maybe a quick snack. An iced coffee and a chocolate chip muffin is my go-to here. Definitely great, especially on a Monday morning here. Now, usually during the summer months, I switch to uh, iced uh, coffee. That way, it's it just kind of cools you down instead of drinking a hot cup of coffee here. But let's get on over to the subdivision. I think we have to mow like four or five uh, lawns in this one subdivision. So we'll be there an hour or two. And uh, this truck, guys, is just so awesome. Really easy to move around. As you guys can see in that small uh, diner parking lot. Like always, guys, there's a full Monza's link down below. And if you do end up enjoying today's video, hit that like button. It's much appreciated. We've been super busy with our landscaping lawn care business, guys. We've been mowing yards every week, and we've been taking on a lot of jobs here, which is great for business, but I do want to take on some more and definitely pick up a few employees here to do some multiplayer videos. I think would be a pretty sweet thing here, but we just arrived here. Let's get the strobe lights going. We'll get the uh, hazard lights on. Definitely need those, even on a subdivision like this. It is a uh, part of just... Part of the safety and procedures that I, I definitely like to have here. But overall, I mean, this is just such a cool truck here. Now, today mainly, we're going to be using the John Deere Walk Peon. I haven't really ran this in some time. And I, I, I like this. It's also great exercise here. So let's get this backed off. No problem. And I think we're going to get started off here. We have to do this property to our left and the one in front of us. But why don't we do this one here first? It's a little bit on the smaller side. I hope everyone's been having a pretty good day so far here and having a good start to summer months as well. It's always a great time here. The warm weather is here and there's a lot of fun uh, kind of summer activities to do here and definitely a lot planned here with the channel which is also really exciting here. But with this walk behind guys, it is just so maneuverable. This is actually a belt driven so it, there's a little bit less control, a little bit, a little bit less uh, kind of handling if you would say. And not as much power, but it still gets the job done. And this, guys, is almost like a third of the price of what a Hydro is just because uh, the belt driven is a little bit cheaper. This walk behind does have a pretty good cut quality here. The deck is fixed position so it does not float on the ground, but I haven't really noticed uh, any uh, cut problems there. And also, 
I just try to kind of navigate the property, making sure we don't have any scalping because that wouldn't be too good. Our customers would definitely be calling me on the phone asking what happened to their grass. The lawn care side of our business, guys, is quite big here. We mow quite a few yards in almost all of our properties. We do snow removal for, we do kind of full uh, service for them with the mulch, and they hire us to do all the projects here. So it's really good to have uh, these weekly lawn care clients, and it also brings in a steady income for us as well, especially when you're doing high ticket jobs, low ticket uh, landscaping projects. It's good to just have that constant uh, kind of revenue stream coming in from these weekly cuts here, but we got the first one done It's only been like 25 minutes here. So let's get going on this one here This uh, this one is a little bit of a bigger lot here. It's also a corner lot as well uh, But we should be able to do it in no time As usual guys, I'm making sure the shoot's facing away from the house here, especially with the recent rains here. I think we got rain like last night. It, there's a little bit of kind of dampness to the grass here, but one thing you want to make sure guys is is that you are not putting the grass towards the siding of the house, towards the foundation. That would not be a good thing here. It would definitely leave some grass stains and uh, the customer is more than likely going to be calling pretty upset and that's just kind of part of something you learn over time is you really want to have good service and it, uh, little things like that really does help out here going that extra mile really gives uh, happy customers here but there seems to be a lot more water here oh yeah look at that you can actually see some water uh, kind of coming up uh, from these tires here so this side of the property must not be draining too well Oh boy guys, we just slid into the fence and look at that. Uh oh guys, we just damaged the bottom kind of three pieces of this fence and the fence post. This is not too good here. It looks like we have a little bit of damage to our lawnmower, but whoa. I was just saying a few minutes ago here to the camera that it uh, this uh, side of the property just doesn't seem to be draining too well here. This is definitely not a good thing guys. We just damage a fence. So I'm going to have to take a few pictures, send it to a customer because I don't think they're home. And I'm actually going to have to do some weed eating here. I, I don't want to be mowing the rest on this side here. This needs a lot of weed eating here. So, oh boy, guys, our day just went from mowing yards. So now we have to fix this um, because the customer has a broken fence here. So let's see here. Yeah, there's quite a bit of damage. Uh, and uh, part of it, guys, is with this belt driven. There's really not too much power in control. And that was uh, kind of what led to that here. But let's see if we could get this uh, kind of moved on out here. I am, I will try reverse here. Let's see. Let's see. We're able to just slowly back up. Slowly back up. Let's take a look here. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, guys. We actually have a flat tire on this mower. Wow. We're going to have to bring it back to the shop here. And, yeah, this fence, this little section, you could actually see it. Oh, boy, guys. That is not a good thing here. So now I'm actually going to probably... Uh, get working on fixing this for the customer and then 
get back to mown the other ones here because wow we have a broken fence here so guys i think i'm probably gonna put down the camera now i don't really want to uh, kind of keep on mowing here actually let me do some weed eating uh, just kind of finish this up here and then uh wimp this uh back over to his truck and then we'll put down the camera all right guys i just did some weed eating there for the last uh five to ten minutes i'm just slowly bringing the lawnmower back over to our uh truck and trailer here but guys we need to go get a new tire here and i did talk to a customer he said no worries and i told him it would be fixed by the end of the day here so i gotta go get working on that so until next time guys thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more